It's nighttime in the big city. A night watchman rinses out his thermos. The last train from Overbrook pulls into the station. It's theme time radio hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Welcome once again to Theme Time Radio Hour. Today we're going to hit the road, we're going to ride the blinds and dodge the yard bulls. We're going to take a ride on the Reading, transfer over to the B&O, and if we have time, pick up our tickets for the Orient Express. So all you boxcar tourists, get yourself out of the roundhouse and hop aboard as we spend the next hour contemplating the Iron Horse. It's not a crazy idea, but we got a locomotive and it's all about trains. In the background, Mead Anderson Lewis. Perhaps you know him better as Mead Lex Lewis. He was one of the kings of the hockey talk piano, and like a lot of the great piano players, he used his rockin' left hand to imitate the rhythm of the trains on the tracks. Start things off with the Johnny Burnett Rock and Roll Trio, Lonesome Train on a Lonesome Track. Believe it or not, the Johnny Burnett Rock and Roll Trio were invited to appear on the Ted Mac Amateur Hour, where they won the competition three times in a row. I want you to listen to this record and just imagine anything that's raw winning three weeks in a row on American Idol. <laughs> Burnett Rock and Roll Trio, Lonesome Train on a Lonesome Track, written by Milton Zubatsky and Glenn Moore. We're crisscrossing the nation, going north to south and east to west on this railroad edition of Theme Time Radio Hour. Here's one of our favorite artists, the redundantly named Little Junior Parker, recorded for Sam Phillips' Sun record label. The song was also recorded for the very same label by another man we might have heard of. The swivel hip rockabilly cat, Elvis Presley. But here's the original version. Little Junior Parker, your mystery train. Oh, round. 
gonna do it again Street Train, playing that distinctive guitar riff with a man by the name of Auburn Hare. That was his birth name. Everybody usually called him Pat Hare. And he not only played with Lil' Jimmy Parker, but he also was in Muddy Waters' band. He met up with a sad end, though. In 1954, he recorded a song called I'm Gonna Murder My Baby. Yes, I'm gonna murder my baby. Don't do nothing but cheat and lie. Guess what? He did just that in 1962. He not only killed his baby, but he also killed a policeman who arrived on the scene. He received a lifetime sentence and spent the last 16 years of his life in a jail in Minneapolis before passing away in 1980. He climbed aboard that mystery train one time too many and was gone forever. Adios. You maniac! But guy, you wanted it. We planned it on the train together, remember? Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? I'm gonna call the police, of course. But you can't, guy. We'd both be arrested for murder. We'd both be arrested for murder. You're just as much in it as I am. Well, you can't do a show about trains without playing something by the singing brakeman. We played him a bunch of times, and we've talked about him. And the most you're going to get here is a sample. There's no substitute for going out and listening to all of his records or reading about his life. There's a bunch of great books about him, or you can just look him up on Wikipedia. So here he is, the singing brakeman, Jimmy Rogers, and he's waiting for a train. From home, sleeping in the rain. I walked up to a brakeman to give him a line of talk. He says, If you've got the money, I'll see that you don't walk. I haven't got a nickel, not a penny. Get off, get off, you railroad bound He slammed the boxcar door Oh, A state ideally love. The 
The wide open space is all around me. The moon and stars up above. Nobody seems to want me. Or lend me a helping hand. I'm on my way from Frisco. I'm going back to Dixieland. Though my pocketbook is empty. And my heart is full of pain. I'm a thousand miles away from home. Just waiting for a train. That was Jimmy Rogers here on Theme Time Radio Hour. Jimmy was the first performer inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, and I couldn't have made a better choice myself. Not that anybody asked, but uh, if they did, I would have chosen him. Forward and Payaka, Manakl and then Gosaka. Here's a song about trains that was featured in the soundtrack to the movie The How Do They Come? Draw Your Brakes by an artist David Scott, but he recorded as simply Scotty. He worked with producer Derek Harriet and continued recording up until his death in 2003. Here he is with Draw Your Brakes, Scotty. here on Theme Time Radio Hour. And then, of course, you may have a comic that's telling a lot of kooky gags and stuff like that, and you may have to make a train effect coming through the house. All aboard! 
Here's a song that's not specifically about a train, but it's got train in the title because it was based on a train rhythm. Mick Jones, Joe Strummer, from the album London Column and their big hit, Train in Vain, The Clash. the clash with train in vain you know in parentheses they call the song train in vain stand by me because the benny king song was a big inspiration on me too Anyone who was ever in a topless joint in the 50s or 60s recognized the song playing behind me. It's a night train by Jimmy Forrest. I don't think there was a stripper alive at that time who didn't bump and grind to this number. The song originally was a riff by Johnny Hodges, called out to the blues, old man. Duke Ellington took that and made it part of his long-form composition, Happy Go Lucky Local. Jimmy Forrest played tennis saxophone with Duke Ellington. He went off on his own, and he and piano player Bunky Parker recorded this version, which was one of the biggest hits of the 50s. W.H. Otten wrote the commentary for a general post office film that was entitled Night Train. I don't know if it has anything to do with Jimmy Forrest or strippers, but it goes like this. This is the night mail crossing the border. Bringing the check in the postal order. Letters for the rich, letters for the poor. The shop at the corner and the girl next door. Pulling up b a steady climb. The gladiant's against her, but she's on time. Past cotton grass and Moreland Boulder, shoveling white steam over her shoulder. Snorting noisily as she passes, solid miles of wind-bent grasses. Birds turn their heads as she approaches. 
and stare from the bushes at her blank face coaches. Cheap dogs cannot turn her cars. They slumber on with paws across. In the farm she passes, no one wakes, but a jug in the bedroom gently shakes. Next up, Alton and Babone Delmore. They were a brother team. They got a lot of their inspiration from both gospel music and Appalachian folk music. Their country boogie sound was instrumental in the creation of rockabilly and early rock and roll. Helping them out was the great Wayne Rainey, who was the king of the Chokestar harmonica. <laughs> Here they are with their great song, The Freight Train Boogie, the Delmore Brothers. Casey Jones, he was a mighty man, but now he's resting in the promised land. The kind of music he could understand was an eight-wheel driver on his command. He made the freight train boogie all the time. He made the freight train boogie as it rolled down the line. Started ringing the bell Everybody along the line could tell Casey Jones, he was coming to town On a six-eight wheeler that was running the ground He made the freight train boogie All the time He made the freight train boogie As it rolled down the line That was Wayne Rainey, along with his good friends, the Delmar Brothers, and Freight Train Buggy. Now, much of the world's freight is transported by train, and that's environmentally sound, because that means less trucks on the road. Not that we want to take any work away from our truck driving friends, but we got to be careful, because we already got a hold in the old zone about the size of Delaware. So all you guys hauling freight, good job, fellas. Next up, the great Freddie King from Gilmore, Texas. Recorded for the Federal Record label. Had a big hit with a sign called Hideaway, which is based on a Hound Dog Taylor song and named after a popular bar in Chicago. Freddie was a big gambler. He sometimes wouldn't go on stage if he was holding a good hand in the backstage poker game. That's why in the song, we're an American band, my Grand Funk Railroad, there's the line, my ball match was Freddie King. I gotta tell you, poker's his thing. Well, his other thing was playing guitar and singing. And he's gonna do that for you right now with a lonesome whistle blues. Come on in, Freddy. Me. Mm-hmm. 
trains are of the iron variety. Here's one called Mule Train. It's by the great Francisco Paolo Lovecchio, better known as Frankie Lane. We lost Frankie recently at the age of 93. He was a great singer and a dynamic showman. Here he is, Mule Train. Yeah! <laughs> Clippity clap, clippity clap, clippity, 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 clippity clapping along. There's a plug of chaw tobacco for a rancher in Corona, a guitar for a cowboy way out in Arizona, aggressive calico for a pretty Navajo. Get along, you get along. You train. Clippity-clopping along the mountain chain Soon they're gonna reach the top Clippity-clop, clippity-clop Clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity along There's some cotton thread and needles for the folks who way out yonder A shovel for a miner who left his home to wander Some rheumatism and pills for the settlers in the hills Get along, you yeah. There's a letter full of sadness in the black around the border. A pair of boots for someone who had to made the order. A Bible in the pack for the Reverend Mr. Black. Get along, yeah. Get along. Frankie Lane and Mule Train here on Theme Time Radio Hour. Into another car go the last bags of mail. Carrying mail also helps pay the cost of running the train. Inside the mail car, railway mail clerks put together papers and letters for each town or city. 
The mail car is pulling into the station now. And that means we have to check our email. This email comes from Christine Radell. She doesn't give her address, so we'll just call it Christine. She writes, Dear Theme Time, here's my question. Do you really pull all your selections from your own personal record collection? Or is that just a tall tale? If you are the owner of all these records, how many do you have? And where do you store them? Would you like an original copy of the LP, Rock Around the Clock? I'll donate to your collection if it really exists. Well, you know, Christine, these are all my own records, and I keep them in various places. <laughs> I like to hear music wherever I am. I wish I get more letters like this one, though. Sometimes we get a lot with people making requests. I got nothing against requests, but sometimes I get the feeling that people are just requesting records from their own collections. I never understood that. I mean, if you got the record, you don't need me to play it. One of the things we try to do at Theme Time Radio Hour is shine the light on some folks that don't get a lot of radio play. We're not going to play the songs you hear everywhere else. Maybe once in a while we will. But the point is, if you want to hear your record collection, play your records. And if you want to hear your record collection on the radio, get yourself a radio show. That's what I did. Thanks a lot, Christine. Oh, and by the way, thanks for your generous offer. But I already got a copy of Rock Around the Clock. And we'll be playing it in an upcoming classic rock show. Lord Buckley was an eccentric performer who got his start as the master of ceremonies at dance marathons. He had a unique vocal style, rhythmic in presentation, as you can hear for yourself on this little piece all about trains. Trains now leaving for Ronsdale, Gonsdale, Flipsdale, Jam City, Rice Cross, Crest Cross, Ratitude, Latitude, Batitude, Hattitude, Nogsley, Dogsley, Frogsley, Homstown, Bombstown, Your Town, My Town, Way Place, Say Place, Gay Place, Routney, Voutney, Fitney, Schnicks now, Crass Cross, Asheville, Avalanche, Ponds, Pie, Farsville, Darsville, Harsville, Parsville, Cranley, Benley, St. Hall, and Crookney, now leaving on track 12. But... Tickets, please. Papa de bop, papa de bop, booby de booby de booby de boop, papa de bop, papa de bop, booby de booby de booby de boop. Tickets, please. Let's get our tickets out right here. Tickets, please. <laughs> Peanuts, popcorn, get them on the red hot. <laughs> tickets, please. Tickets, please. Let's get our tickets out here. <laughs> tickets, please. Tickets. Last call for the diner. <laughs> How we doing, Fred? Right on time, Charlie. <laughs> tickets, please. Let's have our tickets out here. <laughs> Tickets, please. Let's get our tickets. Last call for the diner. What's the matter over there, Charlie? I don't know, sir. It looks like she's stuck. I didn't pull the link. There we go. What are you doing there, Charlie? I'm trying to do the best. Get your special friend. All right, I'm doing lift all right. Help, help. What's got the ambulance coming now? 27 dead and 14 injured. You probably know this next song. You've heard it a million times by Aerosmith, the Yardbirds. Led Zeppelin used to do it on occasion. Johnny Burnett's rock and roll trio, who we just heard a little while ago, did the rockabilly version, which all those rock bands covered. But where did they get it from? They got it right here, from Tiny Bradshaw. Tiny had a career that was in two parts. During the 30s, he led a swing band, but didn't have much success. After 1947, he joined up with King Records and had a number of big R&B smashes. Perhaps most notably, this one, The Train Cup of Ronin. I want you to listen to the beginning of this record. There's a call and response section. Tiny goes, Boudow, and the whole band goes, Boudow. Then Tiny goes, Boudet, and the whole band goes, Boudet. 
except for one guy who still goes boo dow. Nowadays, you just take Pro Tools and take that guy out. Or maybe you'd re-record the whole track. But back then, it was more important to be great than to be perfect. You listen and tell me what you think. Here's Tiny Bradshaw with the original version of The Train Kept Rolling. Boo dow. Whoa, bot do day. Oh, what a girl. Oh, bot do day. Oh, what a girl. Boo dow. Boo dow. Boo day. A bot do day. Oh, what a girl. I caught the train. I met a real dame. She was a hipster and a gone dame. She was pretty from New York City. And she trucked on down the old fair lane with a heave and ho. Couldn't let her go get along That was Tiny Bradshaw, and Train kept rolling. You know, he was on King Records, and it's been a little while since we checked in with our old friend, Sid Nathan, who owned King Records. Let's listen to a little more wisdom from King Sid. Fortunately, everybody can't be a chief. In the Army, you'll have the top sergeant. He's the chief. He'll say, charge. Well, you don't make up your mind whether you're going to charge. You charge. If you go backwards, you're going to get shot in the ass. That's all there is to it. This is Theme Time Radio Hour, and we're talking about trains. And while we're on that train of thought, I've always believed that the first rule of being subversive is not to let anybody know you're being subversive. Here's a song that became number one in 1966. And according to the authors, they wrote it as a protest to the Vietnam War. They had to disguise that fact in order to get it recorded and on the radio. But they say it's about a guy who gets drafted and goes to fight in the war. The train has taken him to an army base, and he knows he may die in Vietnam. At the end of the song, he sings, I don't know if I'm ever coming home. Here are the monkeys. Last train to Clarksville. I must go on 
You're as afraid to die as anybody else. And I never let you free. You hear me? I am free, Frank. I am free. This next song was made famous in a traditional folk song by Lead Belly, the Midnight Special. It's all about a train that each night passed the prison in Sugarland, Texas. It became a symbol of freedom. Lead Belly once said it was good luck to have a cell located so that the headlight from the train would shine in as the train passed. Prisoners all imagined it would be their ticket home. That's where you get the lyric, let the midnight special shine its ever-loving light on me. Here he is, Lead Belly. John, come on, Miss Rose, I knew her, do you know? Well, I know the about an ape, and a dress she wore, I'm a riddle on her shoulder, a piece of paper in her hand. Well, I'm going to not the governor, but I'm going to lose my man, listen to this nice special, shine a light on me, and a midnight special. When he gets up in the morning, when that big bell rang, goes a march to the table, meet the same old thing, not the poker on the table, there's nothing in my pain. Have you seen a thing about it? Have a trouble with the man, let the midnight special shine a light on me. Let the midnight special shine a heavy love and light on me. If you ever go to Houston, you better walk right And you better not squabble And you better not fight Best rock will arrest you And then boom, I'll take you down You can bet your bottom dollar That you is sugar and bound Let the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight special Shine a heaven of a light on me Well, jump a little deeply She was a mighty fine girl Judy brought job in And there's a whole round world When she brought it in the morning Just a wild boy day When she brought me the news And my wife was dead That started me to grieve it Who been a hollering and crying Then I began to worry I'm a very long time Let the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight 
Radio Hour, the Railroad Edition, and today's show is dedicated to all the bakeheads, the conductors, the crumb bosses, the end men, the fixed men, the gandy dancers, the middle swing, the lever jerkers, the mule skinners, the snakeheads and snuff dippers, the pussyfooters, the boiler headers, and the stick drivers. All you guys, why don't you take a five minute break and listen to a record with us? Here's a woman we played on our flower show. Doing the Ray Pennington song that was also recorded by Kenny Price, the Reno Brothers, and Jim and Jesse McReynolds. Here she is, Laura Cantrell, young to come the freight train. Off the freight train out of Nashville, rode it up to Ohio. Made my way to Detroit City, where I stayed a week or so. Called a ride to Chicago with a truck driver man. I stayed there for the summer, singing with the country band. Every time I hear a freight train, lonesome whistle blow. But I think about the good man I've got waiting on me at home. Yonder comes the freight train moving on down the line. Yonder comes the freight train, listen to that engine whine. I'm getting on that old train. I'm going. From the 2002 album, When the Roses Bloom Again, Laura Cantrell, Yonder Comes a Freight Train. On April 29, 1900, engine 382, leaving Memphis on track one, with six cars southbound for Canton. There was a northbound passenger train arriving from Canton. Two other trains were also coming into the station. There was a mix-up of the switches and the flagman, and Casey Jones found himself in the middle. He came racing through at great speeds, trying to bring his train in on time. He didn't see the clock up ahead till it was only a hundred feet away. He looked at his water, but his water was low. He looked at his watch, and his watch was slow. 
He looked to his firemen and said, Boy, we'll make it, or we'll both be dead. Well, they weren't both dead. He made his firemen jump. Engine 382 crashed, and Casey was fatally wounded. He was carried one half mile to the depot, where he died lying on a baggage wagon. The railroad's formal investigation concluded that Engineer Jones was solely responsible for the accident as a consequence of not having properly responded to flag signals. No matter what the report says, Casey Jones saved everyone else on that train. He was the only one who died. Hear the Jubilees and their song about Casey Jones. Run here round the bend, you want to hear the story about a brave engineer. Casey Jones was around his name, and on a big six wheeler, he won his fame. The caller called Casey about a quarter to four, kissed his wife at the kitchen door, jumped into the cabin with his orders in his hands. He took a little trip into the promised land. Well, Casey Jones, well, about to his cabin. About Casey Jones. He had his orders in his hands. Casey Joe went about to his cabin. He took a little trip to the promised land. And Casey was a pretty good fellow. Joe he had his orders in his hands. Casey was a mellow old fellow, but he took a little trip to the promised land. Now the caller told Casey, look here, son. I got the money bet on this run. I got the money on the line, boy. Bring her in dead on time. Pull up your fires, let your ballers roll. Burn up your freight if you run out of coal. The wheels turned, the whistle screamed, old Casey at the throttle of the old 19. Casey Jones, I'm talking about Casey Jones. He had his orders in his hands. Hey, Jones, I'm talking about the Casey Jones. He took a trip to the promised land. Well, he looked at his water, but his water was low. Looked at his watch, but his watch was slow. Looked at his fireman and said, Boy, we can make it, but we both be dead. When they got within a mile of the place, they looked another locomotive smack in the face. Casey said, Big boy jump, I'm two locomotives all round the bump. Casey Jones, Casey Jones, two locomotives are bound to bump, two locomotives are bound to bump, two locomotives are bound to bump, Casey Jones. Oh. The Jubilees singing a great Jubilee version of the song Casey Jones about the legendary engineer. Sometimes an employee is allowed to ride on a pass aboard a railroad train. You know what they call that? A deadhead. Here's another group of deadheads with another song about Casey Jones. I read a lot of books and I somehow doubt the historical veracity of the song. It doesn't make it any less of a good song though. Here's the Grateful Dead. And Casey Jones. Driving that train, pound cocaine. Casey Jones, you better watch your speed. Trouble ahead, trouble behind. And you know that notion just crossed my mind. Makes it on time Leaves Central Station About a quarter to nine At Trevor Junction At 17 to At a quarter to ten You know it's traveling again Driving that train Pound cocaine Case Jones You better watch your speed Switchman sleeping train under that two is on the road. 
eyes, but you still don't see. Come round the bend, you know it's the end. The five month screams and the engine just gleams. Driving that train, I'm cocaine. Casey Jones, bitter, watch your speed. Trouble ahead, trouble behind. Just cross my mind Driving that train I'm cocaine Casey Jones, you better Watch your speed Trouble ahead Trouble behind And you know that notion Just cross my mind Driving that train I'm cocaine Casey Jones, you better That was the Grateful Dead and Casey Jones. It is almost time for this passenger train to leave the station. And the passengers are hurrying along the glistening sides of its coaches. The train will be pulled by this big streamlined diesel electric locomotive. You know what I'm thinking? I brought way too many train songs. Next week, we'll do another train show. That's right, a second hour of train songs. Well, I was two, as two trains running. Oh, well. And whatever show it is we had regularly scheduled, we'll move that ahead to another week, because some of these I just can't leave out. So we're just going to pick up our bags at this station, pull our arms out of the window when we go through a tunnel, get our ticket punched, and we'll see you back at the depot next week on your home for interstate travel. Theme time radio hour. Look after the cow catcher. Long. She's so long and tall. Tell she we like her. I will tell you. Well, I didn't say she no good, but she's all right. She's all right with me. You've been listening to Theme Time Radio Hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Produced by Eddie Gardetsky. Associate producer, Sonny Webster. Continuity by Eats Martin. Edited by Damian Rodriguez. Supervising editor, Rob McComber. The Theme Time Radio research team, Diane Lapson and Bernie Bernstein. With additional research by Lynn Sheridan, Kimberly Williams, and Robert Bauer. Production assistants, Jim McBean. Special thanks to Randy Israti, Debbie Sweeney, Coco Shinamiya, and Samson's Diner. For XM Radio, Lee Abrams. Recorded at Studio B, the Abernathy Building. This has been a Grey Water Park production in association with Big Red Tree. This is Sonny Webster filling in for your regular announcer, Pierre Mancini. Join us again next week for Theme Time Radio Hour, where the theme is More Trains. Boudow.